Hello, good evening. Hello, Jensi. Good evening. Hello, hello. Hello. Yes. Can you hear Only me? two of them. Hello. Only you and I. <laughs> oh, yes. Okay, so can you hear me? Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Okay, awesome. All right, so I think that Edwin is right there. Okay, so how are you? How do you feel today? To me or to Edwin? Well, <laughs> both of you, actually. Yeah. Uh, I, uh, I'm cool. I'm cool today. What about you? How was your day? It was great, kind of busy. You know, I had a lot of things to do, but it was, I would say, great. So I'm okay. Thanks for asking, Jensi. Yeah. So we also okay. have Edwin. How are you? Hi, teacher. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. What is the question? Yes. How are you? How do you feel today? So I feel good now. Hi. I am excited and I am so tired too because I work up before this class. Yes, I imagine. Okay, I imagine, guys, that you are kind of tired, right? I know that it's kind of, um, you know, sometimes a tiring, right? Whenever you worked before this class. But okay, so let's uh, start with today's class. I can see that we also have Carlos Arias. We also have Raul. So good evening, Hello, guys. Good evening. Hello, how are you, Raul? How do you feel? How was your day? Tiring? You know what? When I see when I see your faces, guys, sometimes you are like, yes, yeah, really tired, right? Yeah. So I imagine that you had a really difficult day. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Right now, yeah, I'm very tired. <laughs> Okay, all right. So don't worry. Okay, it's okay, I, I think. Okay, so everybody actually has some days that um where you feel tired, right? So we're going to start and we are going to start with today's agenda. So today we're going to start with the warm map, then we're going to move to unit two, and today we are going to continue with that unit, which is about adverbs of sequence. Okay, that is going to be the main topic for today. And of course, we have vocabulary, which is about restaurants and food and all of that. So we have a speaking time, we also have reading time, and we also have um, educational games. And we also have the listening practice that we are going to take today. And we have different activities, okay? So we're going to start with today's warm up. And as a warm up, we have a tongue twister, okay? So this one is kind of easy, but difficult. At the end, you will, you will see, okay? So it goes like this. Susie works in a shoe shine shop. Where she shines, she sits, and where she sits, she shines. Yeah. So this one is for you to practice the SH, right? Pronunciation. So Susie works in a shoe shine shop where she shines, she sits, and where she sits, she shines. All right. So one by one is going to tell me this one. And I'll give you 10 seconds for you to practice it, you alone. Okay. Practice it, you alone. And then I'm going to call your name, okay? Go ahead and practice it. Okay, I can see Alex, Walter. All right. Okay, so let's see. Um, do I have volunteers to say it first? Mm -hmm. Volunteers? No? Okay. Me, teacher? Yes, Hi, teacher. Go. go. Okay, Susie works in a sushi, uh, in a... <laughs> Shoes shine shop where she shines, she sits, and where she sits, she shines. She shines. 
good okay so we just need to improve on fluency but it's okay all right perfect uh, let's see wilbur okay to see words in a shoe slide shoe where does she shine the six and where she sits uh, she shines okay good thank you wilbur postman Susie work in a short time shop where she shines, she sits, and where she sits, she shines. Oh, okay. So in this case, where she sits. Sit. Sits. Okay. Sit. Yes, Hosman. All right. Then Anna. Susie works in a sunshine shop where she shines, she sits, and where she sits, she shines. Okay. All right, we just need to make the SH, I would say, smoothly, right? So it goes like this, guys. Remember this. Susie works in a shoe shine shop where she shines, she sits, and where she sits, she shines, right? That SH uh, should be um, not that hard, okay? Yeah. So let's see. Let's move. Uh, Karen, are you there? Okay, go, Karen. Okay, Susie work in a shoe shine shop where she shines, she sits, and where she sits, she shines. Okay, very good. Thank you, Karen. Eulise. Okay. Susie works in a shoe shine shop where she shines, she sits, and where she sits, the shines. Okay. Very good, Eulise. Rafael. Are you there? Well, I see that. Okay, he added oyente. Okay. Jensi. I'm here. I'm here. Okay. Um, <clears throat> Susie works in a shoe shine shop. Where she shines, she sits, and where she sits, she shines. Okay, very good, Jensi. Thank you. Edwin. Yes. Susie works in a shoe shine shop. Where she shines, she sits, and where she sits, she shines. Okay, very good. Yes. Carlos Arias. Susie work is a sunshine shop where she shines, she sits, and where she sits, she shines. Okay, very good. Thank you, Carlos. Um, well, Rose is on her way home, so she's not here. Nelson is just connecting. Uh, Nelson, are you there? Yes. Well, I think that. Yeah, okay. Um, okay, Nelson, good evening. So we are practicing the tongue twister for today. And it goes like this. Susie works in a shoe shine shop where she shines, she sits, and where she sits, she shines. Okay, so can you please say it? Hi, good evening. Good evening. Okay, I try it. Susie works in a wash. <laughs> Sorry. Fine. Susie works in a shoe shine shop where she shines, she sits, and where she sits, she shines. Okay, very good. Yes, Nelson. Okay, well done. All right, guys. Thank so you. this is your homework. Okay, so you need to practice it. You need to practice it till you get it perfect. All right, that SH sound. Okay. All right, guys, so we're going to start and we're going to move to vocabulary. So as you can see, we have different um, words, all right, from one to eight, and we also have some definitions. So what we need to do is that we need to match. We need to match the vocabulary on your left to the definitions on your right, all right? So let's see, we have number one. What is reservation according to? the definitions that we have, take a look at them, okay? Is the last one, the letter H? 
a situation when I sit on a planer or a train, let me say, yeah, yeah, a train or a room at the hotel is safe for you. You, okay, yes. So a situation when I sit on a plane, okay, or a train or a room at a hotel is safe for you. Yes, that is reservation. That is correct. What about tasty? What is tasty? What is it? Probar. Okay, yes, but according to the definitions that we have on your right, what is tasty? Letter A, to eat less. No, 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 no. 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 Um... Having a really good test. Okay, so that Better is. Eat. Thank you. All right. Yes, having a really good taste. Excellent. What about ingredient number three? What is ingredient? One of things used to make a particular food. Very good. Mm -hmm. Yes, that is correct. What about barbecue? What is barbecue? Delicious. Better Good which cook it on meat, middle structure overheat. All right. Letter G. Okay, barbecue yeah. letter G. Okay, food which is cooked on a metal structure overheat. All right, ED, that sounds like T, cooked. Excellent, very good. What about diet? Diet, letter A. And what is letter A? To eat less or to eat only certain foods because you want to to lose, lose weight. Very good. Yes. And what about number six, bake? Cook a food by putting by putting in an oven at a high temperature. Excellent. Very good. So that means letter F. What is oven, guys? Oven. This section yeah. below to stew with a door in front where it food can be heated or cook it. Okay, perfect. So, cook. Let it be. All right. Yeah. Oh, cooked. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, cooked. Excellent. And what about calorie? What is calorie? A unit to measure, uh, unit to measure the amount of energy contained in a particular food. Excellent. Okay, very good. All right. So, reservation. Tasty, ingredient, barbecue, diet, bake, oven, and calorie. Okay? Vocabulary. All right. So now, let's move. Okay? Remember pronunciation. Heated, cooked. Cooked. Heated, cooked. Yes. Heated, cooked. Very good. Excellent. Okay. So now, let's move. Vocabulary, okay. What is this? A bar of chocolate. Okay, a bar of chocolate. Very good. What is this? A bottle of honey. Okay, a bottle of? Juice. Juice, all right. Do you see the apples? Yes. Yes, okay, so juice, right? Very good. What about number three? A can. A can or a tin of tomatoes. Tomatoes. Tomatoes, very good. What about number four? A container of? Uh, pasta. 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 And what about number five? Uh, a jar of olives. Yeah, olives. that one, yes. All right. A jar of olives. What about number six? What is this? A love of bread. A love of bread. Bread. Okay, very Bold. good. Do, do you like do you like olives? No. No, you uh, don't. Yeah. Okay, all right. Not yet. <laughs> okay. <laughs> With <Yeah>. our seal. <laughs> Okay, all right. So let me ask you, do you like apple juice? 
Yes, I like it. It is delicious. And do you mm. like chocolate? Yes. Yes, of um, course. Um, right? yeah. Yes, of course. Okay, number seven. A packet of... What is this? Cornflakes or... But from those that we have right here? Ah. Uh. Really? Uh, pasta. <clears throat> this is pasta, right? So what about number four? Potato salad. Correct. Yeah, that is correct. Number eight. Ice scoop of... Ice cream. Yes, okay. Delicious, right? Do you like ice cream? Yes. Yeah. Yes. yes it Teacher, is the nice. pronunciation is a scoop. Yes. Oh, okay, scoop. Um, but the scoop is a is a mm, measure. Yes, um, it's like right. Yes. Cuchara. Es como un cucharón. Ah, uh -huh. cucharón. Yes, como como un cucharón. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. But they are also a uh, little scoop, right? Yes. Or yes. It, it when you when you take the the sugar or the salt. Ah, okay. Yes, of course. Yes. Mm -hmm. I know what you are. Yeah, saying yes. There, there are different. Um, no. A type of. I mean, this one is cucharón, but we also have. Um, tablespoon, right? Como cucharadita o cucharada o cuchara, right? Yes, we also have that. Mm -hmm. We are going to cover that in a minute. All right. So, a number nine, what is this? A slice of cheese. Cheese. Of cheese. Do you like cheese? Cheese. Yes, I love oh. it. Yeah. What about cream? Cream. What is cream? Yes. 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 The beans. And yeah, cream. The beans. Okay. All right. So um, let me ask you this. Have you tasted this ice cream uh, from this place that is that is called vanilla spoon? No. Oh, no. Huh? No. You no. have to taste that. Oh, it is delicious. Yes, it is delicious. Okay. All right. Guys, how do you say um, cucharadita de las chiquititas, the small ones? Uh -huh. The small ones. Any idea? No. No. That one is teaspoon. Teaspoon. Yes. Uh -huh. Las chiquititas, the little ones teaspoon okay and the normal ones the normal ones right so those are called uh um uh let me see uh those are called tablespoon yeah tablespoon cucharada ah, cu cuchara, cucharada yes tablespoon and the little one teaspoon I have a question. Um, what is the meaning of bar? Is like pedacito? A, a bar of? Of oh, chocolate. Una barra. Ah, okay. Yeah, una barra. Yeah. Yes. Uh, if you want to say like pedazo, right? A piece. Mm -hmm. A piece of? A piece of chocolate. The, this one? The one that you see right here, like this one, is como un pedacito. So that one is a piece of chocolate. But the whole, this is a bar of chocolate. The bar, right? La barra. Uh -huh. Okay. Yes. Very good, guys. So now let's keep moving. All right. So we also have uh, vocabulary and some questions, okay? So let's see. What is number one? What is this? Complete cereal. 
Okay. Yes, I know yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, is the brand. <laughs> yes, okay, but don't worry. I know that, yeah, we call it cornflakes, right? So in this case, uh, cereal, excellent. What about this one, number two? Toast. Toast, yes. Toast. What about number three? Fruit. Fruit. Fruit, okay. What about number four? Yogurt. 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 <laughs> yes, excellent. And number five? X. X, right. And what about number six? Pancakes. 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 You like pancakes? Yes. 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 With honey. Yes. 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 What about number seven? Pastries. Okay. Pronunciation. Okay. Pastries. Okay. Yes. In number eight? Waffles. Waffles. Do you like waffles? Waffles. Yes, so so with ice delicious. cream. With ice cream, <laughs> yes, that is correct. Okay, so now are these foods popular in our country? Yes or no? Yes, some sometimes are very popular in USA. It's like the typical breakfast. Exactly. It's common to eat the, uh, the breakfast. Mm -hmm. But here in our country. Yeah, pancakes, eggs, uh, cereal. <coughs> yes. And do you eat these foods? <laughs> I mean, it, okay, yes. Uh -huh. What? Do you, eat, do you eat these foods or no? Just when we go with Dennis. <laughs> Right. Yes, that is true. Uh, Denny's, they do sell all of these, right? And Denny um, a stay dinner. That is correct. I haven't visited that one. It's a state dinner. Yeah, I have seen that one. Yeah, but I haven't visited. Have you gone there, Raul? In a state dinner? Yeah. Yeah, one. Once? One time. Okay, all right. Was it good? Did you like it? Yeah, it's like Dennis okay. that the the food is very it's very bigger. Okay, is is um okay is large. Okay, it's large. I mean the plate and everything is large. Yeah, one 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 hamburger. When you see a photo, and when the when when they when they come to the food with you. When is, when they serve. When they serve, uh -huh. when they care, when they serve, when they scare, oh no, when they serve, ah, so, when they serve, serve you, the, the food is more, is more bigger than the, bigger. than the, mm -hmm. than the picture. So okay. it's, it's a good service, a good. Uh, food. <laughs> okay. In my opinion. <laughs> so it is true, Raul. It is true. So pictures that yeah. you see, those are real pictures, right? Okay. Yeah. That is good. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Good to know. Good to know. All right. So, uh, what do you drink at breakfast? What do you drink at breakfast, guys? Do you drink coffee or uh, just probably orange juice or sometimes chocolate or milk or nothing? Because sometimes. People do not drink anything, right? But what about you? What do oh, you drink? Coffee. Okay, drink husband, coffee. coffee. Okay. Yeah, yes, sometimes coffee. I drink coffee or I make a shake. Oh my God. Okay. <laughs> okay, okay that was so delicious. Okay. Well, some of you uh, said that just coffee. Okay, perfect. All right. Excellent. Let's move now. It's time for us to read. Okay. So, as you can see right here, we have four pictures. Okay. Of breakfast. Yeah. So, we are going to read and then we are going to decide if this is about uh, probably Japan, okay, Germany, and so on. All right. So, I need, let me see, uh, four volunteers. Raise your hand if you want to read. Mm -hmm. Okay, Me, thank you. All right, 
Houseman. Ok, perfect. Eh, Susana, Carlos, Carlos Arias, Carlos Eduardo Torres, and Houseman. Ok, Susana, you are going to read from letter A from here. Ok. Teal plates. Desde hasta acá. Then, Carlos Eduardo, eh, you are going to read in Japan this paragraph. Yeah? Carlos Arias in Argentina, this paragraph. And Houseman, the last paragraph. Okay? All right. Okay. Go. Okay. Breakfast around the world. The most important meal of the day. Everyone knows that eating a good breakfast gives you the best start to the day. But around the world, there are many different types of, of breakfast. Let's take a, take a look at some of them. I'm sorry. Um, in the cell phone. Don't worry. <laughs> so it's Don't worry. difficult to read. To read. Yeah. Okay. But you can zoom in if you want. Yeah. Um, in Germany, breakfast is a big meal that people usually eat at home. There are plates of cold meat and cheese on the table, as well as bread, butter, and eggs. People help themselves to what they want, and they often eat from a small board instead of a plate. Okay, thank you. I'm finished. Thank you. Okay. Um, in Japan, the main breakfast foods are rice and fish. Mm -hmm. These are served with a clear soup and pickles. There might be other side dishes like vegetable or eggs. And the whole meal is very good for you. People drink green tea and at breakfast. Mm -hmm. In Argentina, breakfast is more informal. People, people go out to buy pastries. There are many shapes of pastries and they have lots of different <coughs> feelings like fruit, cream, or even sweet potato. Uh, popular <coughs> cream is a strong type of tea called meat. Meat is uh, served in a special cup made from a vegetable called uh, ground up. People use a spray to drink, to drink it. Okay. And the breakfast classic, waffle. Where do they come from? Belgium, of course. People have their waffle with the strawberry and cream and even chocolate. Chocolate is also part of popular Dutch breakfast. In the Netherlands, even adults enjoy dots with butter and chocolate sprinkles. Okay, sprinkles, perfect. All right, thank you. So Belgium, okay, Belgium. Belgium and the Netherlands, very good. Okay, perfect. So according to this reading, we have uh, read different uh, type of breakfast around the world. So according to those pictures, what is picture number one? Which country is this one? Argentina. Argentina? Okay. Are you sure? Yeah. Yes. Okay. What about picture number two? Germ Germany. 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 Yes. Imagine how do they eat, right? So with that, what about picture number three? Japan. 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 Okay, can you imagine eating these at breakfast here in our country? Oh, I can't imagine that. Yes, I mean, it will be kind of weird, right? And the last one, number four. This is from? Bel Belgium. Belgium? Yeah. Yes, that is correct. All right. So, which one do you like the most? Mm. Mm, I, I think, well, in my case, I would choose probably, probably, right? Mm, first, number four, then two, and then one. What about you? Mm -hmm. 
what about you? How, how um, are you going to arrange uh -huh. those breakfasts? The last one will be this one, just in case I don't have any other option, right? I would choose that one. But what about you? Mm -hmm. Let me ask Hosman, how would you arrange those type of uh, breakfast, Hosman? Mm, not like the different <laughs> country. <laughs> Okay. I prefer the, the breakfast Salvadoran. Ah, Salvadoran breakfast. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. Okay. You are really loyal to our food then. Okay. Very good. Okay, guys. Um, let's see. Um, from this reading, let me see. Do you have, well, mate? Okay. Mate. Yeah, that is the name of, of this tea, mate. A gourd. What is the meaning of this? It's like, a, it says, mate is served in a special cup made from a vegetable called a gourd. Uh, this one is like calabaza. Como, un, como calabaza. Yeah. Um, what is the meaning of a straw? A straw is? Pahi. Of what? A straw. Straw. Pahi. Pahi. Yes, like this one. This is a straw. Um. This one. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys. So let's see. Yes, I think that that's pretty much. All right. Let's move and now let's move to the book, all right? We are going to start with the book. Okay, so I need two volunteers. In this case, uh, one is going to be Javier and the manager and the other one is going to be Moore. I need two uh, volunteers. Thank you, Ana. You are Javier and manager and I need Moore. Um, Glenda. Okay, go Glenda, you are Moore. Thank you, Anna. Okay, uh, sir, I go. I forgot how to process a payment. Or, all right, first you give the option to pay in cash or credit card. After that, take the payment and put it in the register of your slide. The card throw the card right there. I can see. <laughs> the register spring the receipt and you give the you give it back to the customer finally the customer sign the rec receipt and you keep it a copy thank you mr moore okay thank you okay first of all let's talk about pronunciation right so this one is pronounced register okay register register, register. Mm -hmm. Register, yes. Register. Okay, guys. Um, which one do you think is better to pay in cash or to pay with a credit card? Which one is better for you? In cash. For me, in cash. In cash? All right. I think it depends. <laughs> It depends, okay. Yeah, because if, if I don't have cash in the moment, but I have in my wallet a uh, 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 credit, credit card. card, maybe I I pay with the credit card, but if I have the cash, I prefer to pay in cash. Okay, yes. Well, it depends, right? Yeah, so I do prefer also cash is better. Okay, so then guys, um, it says paying cash or a credit card. After that, okay, take the payment and put it in the register or you a slide. What is the meaning of a slide? Deslizar, a slide, very good, yes. A slide, the card through the card reader. So whenever you go to the supermarket and you um, actually slide your credit card, 
um, the, the, the machine, right? It, it is called card reader. That is the name of that machine, okay? The little one, mm -hmm. card reader. Then the register prints the receipt and you give it back to the customer. Finally, the customer signs um, the receipt and you keep a copy, okay? Let's see. So let me ask you these questions that we have right here. What steps do you follow in your everyday work? Do you follow steps where you work? Do you follow processes or no? You do. Okay. So then, and what happens when an employee doesn't follow the procedures? What happens? Uh -huh. Yeah. What happens? In your everyday work, of course, right? Mm -hmm. oh, team. Uh, mm -hmm. Well, okay. So then, guys, I'm going to ask, okay, some of you. Um, let me see. Susan, okay? Susan, what steps do you follow in your everyday work? Tell me some of the steps. Mm -hmm. mm. First, I I ask mm -hmm. to vendedor, ¿cómo se dice? To the salesman. 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 Mm -hmm. I asked to the salesman about if they have a project. Because I presupuesto, hago presupuesto. Okay, so I create budgets. I, budget. I cre create what? Budget. Budget. Uh, budget. Oh, okay. I create budget. Mm -hmm. So first I ask them and then I I me siento, I see it at my at my yes. I see it in front of my computer mm -hmm. and I make all about all about he write you in, create a report in a paper. Mm -hmm. mm, yeah, maybe like this. Mm -hmm. I create a report. And I, I make a, <laughs> I make a, I don't know. I make a bill. Okay. For the, how is it? For, for um, no, yeah. Okay. Cliente. Okay. For the client. For the client. Uh, for the client. Yeah. And just uh, this is all. Okay. <laughs> Every day I create the bills for the client. Clients. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. And Susana, what happens when you don't follow procedures? I mean, if you do not follow that procedure, what will happen? Or what happens if you don't follow one step? Oh, I think the clients are a bad deal and they can pay less when pagar menos. Yes. Yeah, and this is a problem for me because I should pay lo que yo deben. What they owe. What they owe. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Very good. Thank you, Susana. So you see that you can do it. Okay. Very good. So now let's see. Let's answer the following questions, guys, according to this conversation. Uh, yeah, I think that it has issues with the internet. 
Um, okay, so what steps does manager Moore give Javier to process a payment according to this role play, according to this conversation? What are the steps that the manager uh, give Javier to process the payment, guys? Mm -hmm. yeah, to first to, to give an option to pay a cash or credit card okay. mm -hmm. yeah. and then what words does manager more use to order the sequence of events what do you see right there First, after that, then and finally. Excellent. Okay. And how do we call those words? Uh, Frequency adverbs. <laughs> yes, yeah, sequence adverbs. Very good, Jens. <laughs> I use it, but I don't know how to say it. All right. Don't worry. Okay. But very good. Excellent. Okay, guys. So as you can see right here, we have different right here on this chart we have different scenarios okay so the first one it says a customer is angry because his food was not delivered on time Ooh. number two a customer is very aggressive to one of your employees yeah then we have number three a customer says he found a toothpick what is the mean of toothpick in his food and that he will not pay for the food. What is toothpick? Un palillo montadiente, no sé si. Un palillo, yes, exactly, okay. Number four, a customer is calling upset because he received the wrong delivery order. And number five, a group of customers are getting upset because the cashier is too slow. And that is a common thing, right? Number five. Okay. Whenever you go to the supermarket, sometimes cashiers are too slow. Okay. So now let me ask you, do you ever meet difficult customers at work? Yes or no? Yes, right? Now, what we are going to do is that we are going to choose one of the situations below, okay? And what you are going to do, you are going to list and describe five steps that you could use to deal with that difficult customer. And you are going to present the process to the class. So that means... That number one, for example, a customer is angry because his food was not delivered on time. What are the steps that you are going to follow to deal with that customer? What will you do? Five steps. Okay, five steps. Let's see, what can we do to deal with this uh, customer that is angry? Apologize for the inconvenience. Okay, number one, apologize for the inconvenience. Number two, offer different options. Offer different, different options. Different. Excellent. Um, offer a promotion coupon. Offer a promotion <laughs> coupon, yes. Will be, uh -huh. Very good. Um, Free, for example, the free. okay, very good. Something for free in the next order, okay, very good. Okay, because in that way, you, you make sure that the customer probably will go back to, to actually make orders, right? If you offer that type of service, yes. And the last one, the last step that we can follow. What do you think? Could be the last step. Mm -hmm. I don't know maybe offer us don't pay the tips. Okay, to offer that he doesn't pay the, the tip. Okay, could be all right. The service charge. It could be or a discount. Uh -huh. Very good, a discount. Excellent. Okay. 
So now, guys, we are going to work on teams, and you are going to choose one from those different situations, okay? I'm not going to give you which one. This time, you alone are going to decide which one, okay? You alone. It doesn't matter if you have the same um, as the other team. It's okay because the ideas are going to be different, okay? So in this case, you decide from one to five with your team. Right now, I'm going to send you to different breakout rooms, all right? So you can go ahead and, and create this short presentation. Remember, five steps, and you need to use first, after that, then, and so on, okay? So let's go ahead and work on this. Open the class, open the class, please, okay? So you have the class right there. And let's move. Water. Oh, okay. Um, Salvador, are you here? Carlos, Arias, Eulice? Yes, teacher. Oh, are you able to participate? Okay, are you able to participate in the activity, Eulice? Yes, I will try. Okay. I think that, okay, Raul, I don't know why you, you come back. Okay. Go there. Um, okay. It will say, I don't know why. Mm, sorry about that. Okay. Are you alone? Yes, you are alone, Wilbur. Walter. Oh, sorry, Walter. Okay, let me see, Walter. But, okay, give me one second, Walter. Let me, let me move you. Okay. You will go to room number four with Edwin, okay? Okay. Okay. Um... Okay. What we can what we can say with that option, like as at the first as at the first um step, what we uh, can I, say. I feel that it's mandatory. <laughs> uh, and what is the word? Apologize. Apologize. Mm -hmm. Apologize for the inconvenience. Okay. So, <clears throat> uh, Rafael, are you going to write in the shirt? I don't understand. Lo vas a copiar primero y luego lo vas a. La verdad. The first, the manager uh, listen or talk with the customer about the problem. Mm -hmm. The manager the talk the listen 
The manager. Listen the customer. Listen. Customer. To know the problem. To, to know, de saber. <laughs> Mm -hmm. No. You know the problem of the one delivery or of the one delivery order. Or. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Delivery order. After that, after that, the, the delivery employees explain the customer. Can explain to the customer. Mm -hmm. Explain to the customer, explain to the manager. Okay. Le escuchó cuál fue el, el problema que se dio antes que el, el cliente hablara. The delivery employee explain to manager. I... Teacher, I can share my screen. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, I I always forget to give you. <laughs> okay, give me, give me one second. And, and there you go. Okay. Try now and let yes. me know if you're able. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes, I see. Okay. okay. Number two, a uh, customer is very. Annoying. I receive. No. No, annoying is, es molesto, pero creo que de broma. Annoying. To one of your employees, okay. I would go where he is my employee. And, and I try to help, help, help. Who? Customer? What? Who helps? No. No. See, who helps you? Yeah. Customer? Okay. My employee. Mm -hmm. I, I would go, go where he is my employee. Mm -hmm for help you okay. Bye. Mm -hmm. a customer is very annoying to run of pizza delivery man teacher in this case is correct say annoying with ing or is in pass for example a customer is very annoying to one of pizza delivery man. No, no, annoyed. Uh, ED. With ED. Ah, okay, okay. Thanks. Okay. The next one. No, wait, estoy ya terminando. Okay, okay. Ahí te va. A customer. See, a customer say, Yeah. The destruction project is necessary. Repeat. 
quizás este sería antes. ¿Qué es lo que hacen? Repeat the order. Next. Customer. Ajá, order co customer. After. Um, customer after taking maybe taking or yeah or taking delivery taking delivery taking repeat the okay va dos veces la misma palabra entonces por eso es que no no quería ponerle yeah. eso Repeat the, the food, maybe. Okay. I have a schedule of order. Thank you for the. You know, Thank Anna. You. Sorry. Yes. Uh, in this case, on number one, what you can do is the following. Okay. Uh -huh. So repeat the order to customers. Repeat the order to customer. To the customer, to that customer, to T H E. T. Yeah, to the customer after taking it. Taking it. Okay. Order with it. Okay. Okay. Okay, thanks. Okay. Let's schedule. Yeah. For the taking for delivery, give a instruction for employees that is not review the food before delivery. Mm -hmm. Now, on number three, give an instruction. Uh, yes, is E. Mm -hmm. A necessary double S. Um, Mm. Maybe uh, ask maybe ask to como pedir al al repartidor que que revise la orden con el cliente o que le pida al cliente que revise la orden mm -hmm. uh, to the customer well in this case repartidor delivery man delivery uh, to delivery man that that review the order mm -hmm. with customer co customer mm -hmm. after um no before before returner is correct teacher okay ask to the delivery man that delivery man to to review to to review to review the order with cost with the customer the customer the customer before returning returning ing ing and with you instead of o returning you uh, uh... You. This? Yes, yes, like Maybe. that. Yeah. Maybe. Hmm? Um, give yeah. another. <laughs> <laughs> no, finish. I need the five step. <laughs> Maybe give. Oh, come up. Okay. Um, a coupon 
No, a promotional. A promotion. No sé si se escribe. Sí. Sí. Promotion with promotion. Promotion. In case that. Eh, for the customer, in case that. Um, en los casos que se entregue equivocadamente la, la orden. Mm -hmm. Ok, that the cost of a phrase saved wrong delivery order. Mm -hmm. Ok. Give a promotion to the customer. In case that the customer receives or he no the customer received um in that case instead of with the received let's add s receiva receives receives wrong delivery order okay good okay all right perfect um let me see uh, let me see if the other ones uh, are done. Give me one minute, okay? I'm going to call you back in one minute, okay? Practice it because okay. we're going to tell it, yeah. Okay. okay. You're done? Yes. Perfect. Yes. Let's go back to the main room, guys, okay? Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. So let's see, uh, Glenda, Glenda and your team, you are the first one to present. Go, okay. yes. Uh, the problem is a customer is calling upset because he received the wrong delivery order. Okay. First, the manager talk and listen the customer to know the problem of the wrong delivery order. Okay. Before that, the delivery employee explained to the manager about the one delivery order. Okay. Then the manager apologized to the customer about the one delivery order. Okay. After that, the manager repeated the, the right order and said to give one order and will be free. Okay. And finally, the customer accepted the offer. Okay, perfect. Now, Glenda, repeat after me and say apologize. 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 Excellent. Like that. Apologize. Very good. Okay. Very good. Um, Susana? Yeah. Okay. Um, let me see. Susana, you were with Blanca and Nelson, Susana. So who is going yes. to explain to us the steps and the procedures and which was the okay. situation? Okay, Susan. We talk about first, we help our, help our employee. Employees. Okay. Employees. <laughs> the situation number two. two uh -huh. to try to calm the customer and we can listen about their problems. Customer their, problems. Mm -hmm. Customer problems. Three, offer discount mm -hmm. if the problem needed. Mm -hmm. um, four, mm. four, try and make a deal. Okay. Um, just that. Just that. <laughs> okay, that's it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. So that was situation number two. It was a customer is very aggressive to one of your employees. Mm, yes, that was really difficult. Call nine one one. <laughs> yes. Right. <laughs> yes. Yeah, sometimes that happens. Okay. If all fail. 
call 911. Yes. Okay, so let's see. Um, let me see. Well, Eulise, Eulise, did you complete the activity? Not the shirt. Okay. Because I was alone. Okay. Yes, guys. Sometimes, cuando los mando a los salones, eh, se queda aquí, pero cuando le digo, están aquí, están aquí, y, y no me responde. Okay. Entonces, a veces creo que como que se regresa, se regresa, eh, no sé por qué se les regresa como la invitación o quizás nunca la reciben. En ocasiones es por el internet, ¿ok? Pero cada vez que usted vea que todos se van para otros salones y usted todavía está aquí, pregúnteme, porque yo me quedo para ver quiénes se quedan. Y les pregunto si están aquí, pero a veces no me responden. Sí, yo sí tenía problemas, pero ayer me costaba entrar, pero era actualización de la aplicación. Ah. Ya lo actualicé, ya no tuve ese problema porque no me parecía para poder entrar a los grupos y se quedaba como congelada la pantalla. Y es que ese problema les da algunos, pero yo, yo puedo ver aquí quiénes están en los salones y quiénes no. Ok, so, por eso de que siempre pregunto. Ok, very good. So, Carlos, Rafael y Jensi. Um, who is going to say it, guys? Rafael, I'm going to say it. Lo digo, Rafael? I think so, because she, uh, he's laughing to me. <laughs> okay. Uh, we select the option number four, which is a customer is calling upset because he received the wrong delivery order. So we say, first is apologize for the inconvenience. Then call the delivery to find out where is the customer food. After that, explain to the customer that their food is coming to their home. Finally, offer a discount for the next order. Okay, perfect. Very good. Thank you, Rafael, Jancy. Okay, and also, let me see, Carlos Eduardo. Okay, all right. Guys, eh, I'm going to take the attendance, okay? I'm going to take the attendance. Please say present once you hear your name. So here we go. Okay, Ana Lorena Lobato. Present. Thank you. Andrea Sofia Benitez. Andrea. Blanca Jennifer Torres. Present. Present teacher. Se me trabó el, 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 el Zoom y no podía... Okay, Andrea. Right? Yeah. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Carlos Alberto Dominguez. Carlos Alberto Dominguez. I think that, yeah. Well, Carlos Eduardo Torres. Present. Thank you, Carlos. Carlos Francisco Arias. Present teacher. Thank you. Cesar Homero Amaya. Cesar. Edwin Antonio Quinteros. Present teacher. Thank you. Eulice Torres. Yeah. Present. Thank you. Fátima Noemi Umaña. Fátima. Okay. Yes, Fátima. I, I, I can barely hear you, but yes, I know that you are there. Okay. Glenda Josefina Toledo. Present. Thank you. Jose Salvador Bernal. Here I am. Thank you. Houseman Jos Atilio Serrano. Present. Thank you. Juan Francisco Salmerón. Juan. No. Okay. Karen Lisset Sanchez. But I think that she's having issues with the microphone. Uh, Catherine Indira Velasquez. Okay, Marlon Oswaldo Paniagua, Nelson Alberto Peraza. Present. Thank you. Rafael Alexander Serna. Present teacher. Thank you. Raul Ernesto Gonzalez. I'm here teacher. Thank you. Rosa del Carmen Enriquez. Yeah. Present. 
Thank you. Susana Milena Cruz. Yeah. This is Susana. Present. Thank you. Walter David Diaz. Yes, I see Walter. Present. Thank you. Wilber Alberto Perez. Wilber. Present. Yes. Thank you, Wilber. And Jancy Azucena Sanchez. Okay. Present. Yes, thank you. I see you. All right. And let me share my screen once again. Let's continue, guys. Let's continue. Okay. Now let's focus on grammar. Okay. We are going to cover this information, which is about adverbs. Yeah. Um, Walter, help us reading adverbs, this part, and also rules and the example, everything, Walter. Okay. Adverbs. After, after that, before, finally, first, firstly, later, next, second, secondly, then third. Rules. Most sequence adverbs are almost always placed at the beginning of the sentence of a sentence and followed by a comma. Mm -hmm. First, open your book. Next, add two tablespoons of sugar. Finally, you can enjoy the view of the city. Example, first, put some of your favorite ice cream in a bowl. Then, Pour two tablespoons of chocolate syrup yes. on the ice cream. Next, cover the ice cream and chocolate with whipped cream. Finally, sprinkle chopped nuts on, on the white cream and top it off with a cherry. Thank you. All right. So, guys, adverbs of sequence. Uh, I think that you are familiar with this topic, right? This is just a review, okay, according to the book. So adverbs after, after that, before, finally, uh, first, firstly, later, next, second, secondly, then, third, afterwards, okay? And we have this rule. I don't know if you knew if you knew it, but in this case, whenever we have the adverb of sequence, when you are writing, of course, because when we are speaking, we do not make that pause, right? But whenever you are writing, yes, we need to follow this rule that it says that we need to add a comma right after the adverb of sequence, as you can see right here. If we say first, comma, open your book. Next coma, add two tablespoons of sugar. Finally, coma, you can enjoy the view of the city. Every single time that you use um, an adverb of sequence at the beginning, you need to use a coma, and then you can add your sentence. That is a rule, okay? Now, we also have the example where you can see a long paragraph, right? So maybe the, um, the information that I would like to rescue from this is this one, zero, okay? Zero, yeah, zero. What is zero? Harab, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, what else? Maybe this one, uh, let me remember Edwin. Edwin, do you remember what is this? Uh, yeah. Crema batida. Yes, crema batida. Mm -hmm. Yeah, whipped cream. Mm -hmm. Very good. All right, guys. So those are adverbs. Then let's continue with the book. Okay, so I need volunteer to read this chart. One volunteer. Who wants to read? Mm -hmm. Just one. Thank you, Anna. All right, go. Yes, Anna, Anna, I think you are on mute. Turn on your microphone. <laughs> Sorry. 
Oh, well. uh, have to use uh, adverbs and transition expression. Mm -hmm. Look look at the examples in the box, then complete the exercise below. Transition transitions words are used to connect phrase or sentence. They express sequence and progress from one idea to the next. When these words are used at the beginning of a sentence, they are followed by a comma. First, mm -hmm. first you have to give option to the customer. Mm -hmm. After that, after that, you have to take the payment. Or afterwards, you have to take the payment, then the register print the receipt, and you give give back to the customer and finally the customer sees the receipt and you keep a copy. Okay, now thank you, Anna. First of all, let's focus on pronunciation. Okay, so let's see, register. Register. Register, yes, register. register. Then we also have signs. Signs. Yes, sign, sign, firmar, signs, okay? Then we also have this one, which is very common. Guys, this one, it is pronounced first, like with E, first. First. First, like that. Excellent, first. Now say phrases. 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 Yes. Okay, very good, guys. So as we mentioned before, the sequence um, adverbs are as the name says, right, to express sequence, to express progress from one idea to another one, okay, to the next one, yeah, and as I mentioned before, we need to use a comma whenever you are using the adverb of sequence at the beginning, first, after that, afterwards, what is the meaning of afterwards, give me synonyms in English, Later, later on. Later on, later, after that. Afterwards is just a synonym, okay? Of after that, later, just synonyms, yeah? So now, let's see. Look at the box above and complete the following paragraph and add punctuation where necessary, okay? So what goes right here? First. 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 Excellent. First. Aha, uh -huh. let's see. Um, Uma. Okay, and then you have to complete you have to complete a analysis of the training needs of your employees and choose the discussions you would like to include in your company. company. After that, mm -hmm. it is necessary to write the content and divide it in models or charters. Mm -hmm. Then you needed to select the manual style and decide if it's the extra digital content. And if it's and oh sorry, content is necessary. Finally, re, re, revise the manual and print. Excellent. Okay. Revise. Okay, revise. Divide again. Okay. Yes. Okay, guys. Do you have any doubt about adverbs of sequence? Or is it clear um this information? Uh -huh. Do you have any doubt? No? Okay, I need one volunteer to read this recipe of a cup of tea. And let me see. Glenda, thank you. Go. Uh, receive of a cup of tea. Mm -hmm. Ingredients. Water, tea, and sugar. Instructions. First, boil a water. Then, serve the water in a cup. Next, put the tea in the water and finally add sugar. Okay, thank you, Glenda. Repeat after me, Glenda, and say recipe. Recipe. And now say sugar. Sugar. Shu sugar. Sugar. Excellent, like that, okay? So we have ingredients and we have water, tea, sugar, and we also have the instructions and we are using adverbs of sequence, all right? So that's the main purpose of this recipe 
Okay, you see that we are adding adverbs of, of sequence first, then next, finally, and so on. Okay, that is the main purpose. Then let me ask you. Okay, so using the ingredients below, how do you make a pizza? What other ingredients would you add? Okay, so think about it. I'll give you one minute. Think about your ideas and I'm going to ask randomly, okay? So think about an idea. You are going to describe how do you make a pizza with this first the, Okay. First the dough. Okay. So prepare the dough. Okay. Then cut the vegetables. Okay. Uh, so first expand the dough. Okay. Mm. Put sauce. Okay. Um, mm. the cheese. Add the cheese. Okay. Add, the add the cheese. Okay. And the vegetables. Okay. And finally, you put in oven. Okay. Uh, that's that's, that's it. all. That's all right. It. Okay, Susanna, very good. Okay, well done. Okay, let's see. Uh, I'm going to ask one student, okay? So let's see, let me choose somebody that has not participated today, okay? Let me see. Um, can you please let us know how, how do you make a pizza, um, Karen? Add the cheese and vegetables. Finally, go to the oven. Okay. Um, That's it. Yes. Okay. All right. So we can barely hear you, Karen, but okay. Let's see. Um. Okay. Um. Carlos Eduardo, are you there? Yes, I'm okay. here. So how do you make a pizza, Carlos Eduardo? Uh, well, I prepare the mass uh, with the eggs and the, I don't remember the arena, the floor. Yes. Mm -hmm. And after that, I wash the, the vegetable and I slice the tomato and cheese. Mm -hmm. And add the, the sausage okay. and add the sal salami. I don't know if the, the salami. salami, salami, and mushrooms. Okay, very good. Uh, thank you, Carlos. Um, Wilbur, how do you make a pizza, Wilbur? Carlos, uh, prefer the Massa, I don't know. The mass, the dough. The mass, the dough. First, prepare the mold. Uh, second, add the, the cheese. Okay. Uh, first, I add all the vegetables. Mm -hmm. and, second, and finally, uh, uh, put, put in, in, a, in the oven. In the oven. All right. Perfect. Thank you, Wilbur. All right, guys. Yes, I, I, I can see that you're able to use a uh, adverse of sequence. Okay. So now let's move and let's talk about vocabulary. Okay. So we are going to talk about types of food. As you can see right here, we have meat, fish, and seafood. Some of them are already uh, known by you. Okay. But probably um, you are going to get new words, right, that you didn't know. So let's see, let's start. Chicken, you know what that is, right? Meat. Yes, then we also have pork. This is meat. Meat. Yes, mm -hmm. we also have lamb. What is lamb? Cordero. Cordero. Oh. Yes, okay, lamb. 
We also have salmon. This one is not salmon or sal salmon. It is salmon. The L is silence. You do not pronounce it. it salmon. 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 Okay. Then we also have trout. Okay. Trout. And what is trout? Trout. Trucha. Trucha. Yes, trout. Then we also have tuna. And what is tuna? A tool. Do you like tuna? Yeah. You do? Yeah. Okay. Yes. Okay. I like water. Okay. All right. Okay. What about turkey? Do you like turkey? Yes. I think that we all like yes, on the Christmas. Christmas. In Christmas, right? Yes. Prefer the Indian chicken. Oh my God. <laughs> okay. So what about lobster? Okay. Do you like lobsters? Lobster. Yeah, very delicious. Yeah, but sometimes when sometimes. I go to the beach. No. When you go to the beach. Okay, perfect. Okay, so now veal. What is the meaning of veal? Veal. I don't know. Ternera. 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 Yes. Veal. Do you like shrimps? Yes. Shrimp? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yes. All right. Perfect. All right. Then let's move to fruit and vegetables. We have tomato. You know what tomato is. We have cucumber. Okay. Cucumber. Not cucumber. Cu cucumber. Okay. Cucumber. We also have onion. We have zucchini. Okay. Zucchini. We also have eggplant. Do you like eggplant? Not really. So, so. Yes, we also have pineapple. Pineapple. We have beet. Do you like beet? What is beet? Remolacha. Uh, I, I beet. <laughs> do you like beet or no? Yes, I do. No. Really? I and, uh, <laughs> with yes. the no way. Yes. <laughs> Those are delicious and really With lemon. And very healthy. Yes. Okay. I prefer the pie. Okay. So carrot, we have carrots, we have cherries, we have cranberry as well. Okay. What is the meaning of cranberry? Frambuesas. Oh no. no. It's the strawberry. From <laughs> West of Cam. Okay, cranberry? Teresa. Arandano. Arandano, correct. Arandanos, yes. But the red ones, okay? The red ones. Those are uh, the red uh, cranberries, okay? The red, the red ones. Frambuesas, raspberry. Raspberry. Mm -hmm. um, okay, then we also have this one, which is, what is this? Okay, let's move, let's move to herbs, all right? What is this? Parsley. Parsley. Yes. Very healthy. Very yes. Then we also have mint. 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 Okay. Mint. What is it? Menta. Rosemary. What is rosemary? Romero. Romero. You see? No, you ah. no, it's not a girl, right? So rosemary is this herb. Okay. My neighbor. <laughs> My, no, you know, yes, I have also a friend. Yes, I, it, she's called rosemary. Okay, but but no. Okay, so rosemary, romero. Okay, then we also have oregano. Okay, so the same thing, and we also have this one. What is this? Coriander. What is it? Cilantro. Cilantro. Mm -hmm. Cilantro. Correct. And celery? What is celery? Celery? Sí. Okay. Do you have an idea what is celery, guys? Somebody? Que me cilantro. No. Celery. I don't know. Rapio. No? Correct. Okay. okay. Celery. Yes. So then let's move to cooking briefs, okay? Cooking briefs. We have roast. You know what roast is? Yes. Sorry. Yes. Sorry. Fry, okay? Fry. And then we also have a stir fry. Oh. What is the mean of a stir fry? This is very common. Stir fry. A stir fry, saltear. Hmm. Saltear. Saltear. 
Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then we also have a boil, you know what boil is. Grill, you know what grill is. Bake, you know what bake is. What about simmer? Simmer? No? Simmer is hervir a fuego lento. Uh, ah, okay. baño maria? Yes, like that. Yes. Baño I Maria. have a Maria shower. <laughs> no, come on, guys. Yes, tell us. I think that Anna said. Uh -huh. uh, what is the difference between frost and grill? What is the difference between frost and grill? Frost. Es, es roast. Uh huh. And grill. Okay. So, does somebody know the answer? Grilled and roast. Okay, so asado, roast. Grilled and asado. Um, and roast rostizado. Okay, so grill is like a la parrilla. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. And roast is going to be asado. But it's not the same. Si usted hace eh, pollo asado, it's not the same as saying pollo a la parrilla. So, a roast es asado. And grill es a la parrilla. Sería grill como a la plancha. De, de hecho, creo que Burger King tiene un comercial de a la parrilla sabe mejor, vea la hamburguesa. Ajá, correcto. Pero en sí se utiliza una parrilla. Like pero, a, pero, carne asada, pues. pero aquí, ajá, puede ser como la plancha, porque en realidad, bueno, pero los restaurantes sí tienen eh, parrillas. Puede, ¿sí? puede ser el tipo de cocina, teacher, porque grill es eh, directamente a la, a, la, a la parrilla. Correcto. El fuego está directo. Exacto. En cambio, roast no tiene, digamos que la, la olla o cacerola o la plancha. Ajá. Creo que es la diferencia. Yes. So in this case, eh, correct. That is correct. Uh -huh. Pero el grill es específicamente en la parrilla. Uh -huh. Yeah, that is the main difference. Okay, asado y a la parrilla. Yeah. So then we also have the preparing verbs that we cover um, all of them yesterday, right? So we have chop, peel, season, slice, cut, whisk, cool, and stir. Yeah. What was whisk? Mm -hmm. Batir. Yes, correct. Okay, but dear. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Okay, guys. All right. So now let's move. Okay, let's move and let's move to the listening time. Okay, this is the time where we're going to put into practice our listening skills. Okay, let me get the link for you. And let me see. I'm going to get it for you guys. If you are on the spreadsheet, take it from the spreadsheet, right? If you are not from the spreadsheet, I will send it here on the chat. Um, okay, there you go. And the passcode is listening, all capital letters, okay? Listening, add your full name. And this is so easy, guys. This listening is piece of cake. It's not difficult. You will see. Mm. Let me see. Okay, let me know once you are done. Cesar, uh, let me see. No, Carlos Arias. Yeah, I think that there are many, many issues today with, with Zoom. No, you cannot see the, the, the link. No. Um, let me resend it, okay? Let me resend it. Yes, thank you, Nelson. There you go. 
let's see, uh, Blanca, I think that you, you couldn't see it. Check the, the, the chat again, Blanca, and let me know. Okay, so. Well, all right, guys, here we go. Are you ready? I mean, okay. I guess. Who is not ready? I am ready. With the internet, Hosman. Or with the link, I mean, I'm not sure. I'm ready. Okay, so let me see. Who is not ready? ¿Quién todavía no tiene el link abierto? Who is not ready? ¿Quién todavía no tiene el link abierto? Okay, ¿todos estamos listos? Yes. Okay. Raise your hand. Okay, perfect. All right, guys, here we go. Pay attention, okay? I'm going to play it twice, but you will see that is really easy. Okay. Let me see, where is it? Okay, here we go. Hey, I know you. You're James, right? James Roberts. Amanda? Amanda Brown? Wow, it's been a long time. Yeah. Oh, are you going to the class reunion in two weeks? Uh, I've heard about it, but I'm not sure. Where is it anyway? The reunion is going to be held at the Mountain Country Club across from Park City. Man, that's a nice place. Yeah, so, and what time does it start? I think it starts at 6. And how much does it cost? You know, those reunions sometimes are really pricey. Well, it's $20 a ticket that includes dinner and entertainment. And what kind of entertainment are they going to have? They're going to have a live jazz band and dancing. Well, I'm not interested in dancing. A jazz band? That doesn't sound bad. So, well, who's organizing the event this time? Do you remember Chad Phillips? Oh, yeah. Wasn't he the quarterback on the football team? Right, right. Well, he married Sarah Rogers. Oh, Sarah Rogers? Yeah, and they're in charge of the event. So what do you think? Are you going to go? I don't know. Sarah Roberts? Or Rogers, yeah, yeah. Well, I never really fit into high school, and I was kind of a loner. And to be honest, I remember asking Sarah out on a date, and she turned me down. <laughs> she said, I know, and she said she was sick, and it turned out she went out with someone else that night. And I don't know, this could be a little awkward, don't you think? Well, why don't we go together? Are you sure? Yeah. Well, sure. Um, why not? Um, can I be honest? Yeah. Well, I always thought you were really nice, and uh, I just never had the guts to ask you out. <laughs> well, here's your chance. Well, that sounds great. So, what is your number so I can call you? Okay, it's 435. Wait, hang on, i got to get my phone here. Okay, 435. 923. 923. 6017. Okay. okay, 6017. Okay, and where do you live? I only live two blocks south of the old high school. Oh, really? Oh, that's not far at all. Yeah, I, I know where that is. And, uh, well, let me call you a few days before to confirm things. Sounds good. It should be fun. All right. Okay. Ready? No. Okay. Let me replay it, okay? Here we go. Hey, I know you. You're James, right? James Roberts. Amanda? Amanda Brown? Wow, it's been a long time. Yeah. Oh, are you going to the class reunion in two weeks? 
Uh, I've heard about it, but I'm not sure. Where is it anyway? The reunion is going to be held at the Mountain Country Club across from Park City. Man, that's a nice place. Yeah. So, and what time does it start? I think it starts at six. And how much does it cost? You know, those reunions sometimes are really pricey. Well, it's twenty dollars a ticket. That includes dinner and entertainment. And what kind of entertainment are they going to have? They're going to have a live jazz band and dancing. Well, I'm not interested in dancing. A jazz band? That doesn't sound bad. So, well, who's organizing the event this time? Do you remember Chad Phillips? Ah,、oh, yeah. Wasn't he the quarterback on the football team? Right, right. Well, he married Sarah Rogers. Oh, Sarah Rogers. Yeah, and they're in charge of the event. So, what do you think? Are you gonna go? I don't know, Sarah Roberts or Rogers. Yeah, yeah. Well, I never really fit into high school, and I was kind of a loner. And to be honest, I remember asking Sarah out on a date, and she turned me down. <laughs> she said, "I know," and she said she was sick, and it turned out she went out with someone else that night. And I don't know. This could be a little awkward, don't you think? Well, why don't we go together? Are you sure? Yeah. Well, sure.、Um, why not? Um, can I be honest? Yeah. Well, I always thought you were really nice, and、uh, I just never had the guts to ask you out. <laughs> well, here's your chance. Well, that sounds great. So, what is your number so I can call you? Okay, it's four three five. Wait, hang on, I gotta get my phone here. Okay, four three five. Nine two three. Nine two three. Six zero one seven. Okay, six zero one seven. Okay, and where do you live? I only live two blocks south of the old high school. Oh, really? Oh, that's not far at all. Yeah, I, I know where that is. And、uh, well, let me call you a few days before to confirm things. Sounds good. It should be fun. All right. Okay, so now I think that you are ready. Okay, so submit your answers. Yeah, submit your answers, and let me see. This course. Let me see this course. I think that the lady was trying to get something with him. Yes. Right. Because the Anna no le hizo caso. Let me see. Okay. Um. Okay. Okay. I got Raphael. I got James. Well, Wilfer, Andrea. No voy a salir. Hey, mira. Edwin,、uh, okay, okay. So, was it really difficult? Was it really difficult, guys? Ah, I can see that most of you, most of you. Let me see. Let me just double check. Yes, most of you fail on the question number four. How much? It says how much. Do two tickets cost for the reunion, right? So, if one is twenty dollars, then two. Or three dollars.、Mm -hmm. Okay. So most of you, yeah, fail on that one, right? Then let me see. Yes, and well, the other one was the last one. Okay. James feels uncomfortable going to the reunion because he didn't have many friends.、Uh -huh. He didn't have any friends. Okay, so well, don't worry. We are going to practice with another one tomorrow. Okay. So now, guys, let me ask you something. Do you know? Okay, Caesar, got it. Okay, then, guys, do you know or do you have an idea on what? Anagrams are. Have you heard about anagrams before? Anagrams. No, but、yes. okay. Can you please explain to us what are anagrams, Agency?、Uh, are you saying anagrams? Anagrams. Like anagram, like this. Anagrams. Yeah, it's a word that you can read.、Uh, <clears throat> Uh, for both size 
Um, maybe maybe it's like that. Mm -hmm. Okay, you have the idea. All right. So an anagram is actually a word that if we organize the letters into a different order, if we rearrange the letters, we have a new word. For example, if we arrange the word lemon without, and listen to this, without omitting any letter, sin omitir ninguna. Which other word can we get from the word lemon if we rearrange? Melon. Okay, melon. Okay, and that is an anagram. Okay, lemon, melon. Okay, what about if I have this one? Which Shoot. other word? Cloud. Excellent. We can get cloud. You see? Okay. I confuse the 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 anagram with the palindrome. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. But you had the idea. Okay. So that is an anagram. Okay. So right now, we also have, where it says new practice, the ones that are on the spreadsheet. I will send uh, to everyone here in the meeting through the chat a quiz. It is a quiz about anagrams, but this one is for you to think because I want you to think, right? To, to use all of the vocabulary that you already know because I'm pretty sure that you have vocabulary right there. So. Open that link, add your name, open it. Okay, open it, add your name. And I think that we are going to try to resolve it together because this is something new for you. So let me see. I'm going and what is the problem? Anagrams. I have a game for play that. Oh, really? That's, yeah, it's this Google. Okay. I mean, this is so, I mean, um, interesting, right? Let me see. It's in capital letters, everything? Yes, please. Okay. All right, guys. So we have the first one, okay? It says anagram quiz, all right? And it has an explanation right there. Anagrams are words or phrases you spell by rearranging the letters of another word or phrase. So we have from questions, and listen to this, from questions one to five, you should rearrange the letters to create animals' names, and from questions six to eight, to create job professions, okay? So what do you think is number one? Oh, dog. 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 Okay, a dog, if you have it open, Add dog. Okay, I'm going to add dog. Okay, I'm taking this example. Okay, what about number two? Cat. 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 Okay, add cat. Okay, what about number three? A bat. 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 Excellent. A bat. Okay, very good. Uh, you see anagrams like with capital letters? Try again. What about bear? Bear. Okay. Bear. Okay. Very good. Beer. Yes. Beer. Okay. What about flow? Wolf. Uh, repeat after me. Oh, wolf. 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 Oh, perfect. Excellent. Wolf. Excellent. Okay. Now, a uh, break. Break. Baker. Excellent. Oh my God, you are so good at this. Okay, Baker. And what about seven? Teacher. Okay. Teacher. Teacher. Okay. All right, very good. And the last one, this one I think that it, it is the most difficult one, but let's see. 
salesman. Excellent. Sales. Salesman, yeah. Like that, let's see. Okay. Oh, I added, yeah, with, with um, A, but it is with E. Okay, very good. So you see, it is so easy, right? And in that way, guys, you are going to review vocabulary that you have already here. Okay, and your brain works in that way. Okay, so we're going to be taking that type of tests, okay, in order for you to, um, to practice, right, and to um, get more vocabulary, all right? Okay, guys, uh, well, we're almost done, okay, but first we're going to play with the following activity, guessing the food. Okay, so what we're going to do is that we're going to have three uh, volunteers, okay? So those three volunteers are going to describe the food that I'm going to send to you. You are going to describe and the whole class is going to guess, okay, the food. It could be a fruit, it could be probably a drink, it could be uh, anything else, okay? But uh, you are going to describe the food, okay? You are going to give ideas. So then, let's see, I need three volunteers, three. You are going to speak, okay? Well, then I'm going to choose, okay? Uh, okay, so let's see. Um, Eulise, are you there? Yes. Okay, Eulise, you are going to be the first one. Then Edwin Antonio, you are the second one. And let me see, uh, um, who wants to participate? Nobody. Anna. Okay. Thank you, Anna. Okay. So let me send the foods to Eulise, Anna, and Edwin. You will have one minute. Okay. This is so easy. It's not difficult. Okay. Anna, there you go. Those are your five foods. And we also have Edwin. Okay. Edwin. Those are the ones that you are going to describe. And then we also have Eulis. Okay. Anna, you are the first one. All right. Okay. Let me know once you are ready. Okay. Uh, his color is yellow or green. Is acid? Lemon. Lemon, yes. Next. The next uh, have two colors uh, is green and in two is red and have uh, watermelon. No. Yes. Yes. Oh. Yes. Yeah. It's a little circle purple and red. Purple oh, yes. and <laughs> red. Yes. And it's red and have a four to hurt. Have a four to hurt. Maybe you can fit. Maybe you can fit. I can understand because the accent. Okay. Yes. Uh, maybe. Uh, you can see two colors, green or red, and the form is maybe a heart. A heart. A heart. An, apple. An apple. Yes. The last one. Uh, is a, a yellow and have In potassium. <laughs> ah, banana. banana? Oh, yes, okay, very good. Okay, excellent, Anna. All right, so Edwin, ready? So sorry, but I can't try it. Yes, of course. Okay, here we go. One, two, three, go, Edwin. So the first one is uh, color uh, black sometimes. 
and black. You can use a cup and you take in the morning. Mm -hmm. Coffee. Yes. Chocolate. Coffee. Uh, ah, coffee. Second one, you, you can drink in the morning too. And that is so Milk. delicious. And chocolate. Yes. <laughs> now I'm chuckling. Yes, Rabbi. <laughs> I'm sorry. But the third okay. Next. The first is uh, Japan food. Japanese. Sushi. 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 Next. And the next one is uh, fast food. And you can use bread and Baseball, yes. And the last one is a drink that we can obtain of the cup. Milk. Milk. Yes. Perfect. Okay. Very good. So you see, you can. Very good. Excellent, Edwin. Okay, Eulise, ready? Teacher. Uh... Some examples because uh, I don't know how to say. I invent the pros. No, uh, look at uh, your chat in your chat, Eulise. Um, uh, estaba viendo, pero no he encontrado nada. I'm going to resend them. Okay. Okay, Eulise. Mire. Okay. Okay. I don't yes. know. Ahora sí lo, lo recibió. En chat de Zoom, oh, nada. En mi WhatsApp tampoco. I don't know. No sé dónde. No. Okay. No. So weird. All right. Don't worry. Okay. And then Susana. Okay, don't worry, I will listen. Okay, Susana, okay. ready? Okay, okay. no veo. I send them. No. no? No. My God, I think that then Zoom is having some issues. Okay. No? Back to me, maybe. Carlos, okay. 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 Yes, okay. I describe and okay. uh, well uh, is like a like a tree. Um it's a country. Broccoli. Broccoli. No. This is a food. Okay. It's a food. It's a food. It's, it's, a, a, it's, it's, um, it's a country, and you can eat in in a in a, in a party for the pueblo. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Mm. <laughs> it, it is related to fast food. It is related to fast food. Yes, this is fast food. Ah, you can you can uh, add with the hamburgers. Mm -hmm. French fries. Yes. Ah, yeah. Very good. Next. Oh. Yes. Next. Uh, you can this is a slice. You can eat with the slice, and you uh, add the sausage for the tomato sausage. And it's some people doesn't like the pineapple. In this food, pizza, pizza, yeah. very good. Next, how uh, this, pizza. this is the form <laughs> of Salvador. This is the only uh -huh. famous Salvadorian food. The next one um, is a uh, Mexican food. 
Tacos. 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 No. Burrito. Yes. Burritos. Burritos. Yes. And yes. Night, the, the last one is the health food. You can add uh, lettuce, tomato. Salad. Oh, salad. 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 Okay, very good, guys. Excellent. Okay, guys. Okay, yes. So we're going to stop right here just because of the time. Okay, I really um, thank you for connecting to classes. Okay, thank you for being responsible. And thank you for learning with us. I'll see you back tomorrow. The only person that please stay with me, Edwin. Okay, then the other ones, you may go ahead and rest, guys. Take care. Okay. Bye-bye. Uh, good, 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 good night. Good night, everyone. Good night. Take care. Okay. Uh, Edwin, how are you? Yes, teacher. I'm fine, thank you. How All about right. you? I'm okay. You know, well, it's already 10, 10 02, right? So, yeah, it's kind of late. Yes. But I'm okay. I'm okay. I feel yes. happy, right? So today is, um, when, uh, well, not Tuesday, right? So I think that um, we're almost in the middle of the week, right? So I feel okay. Then Edwin, do you feel comfortable um, having this feedback in English or would you like to have it in Spanish so you can express better or in English is okay? In English is okay because right. I, you let me uh, practice my listening and practice my speaking because I need to. Perfect. All right. So Edwin, let me ask you, okay, how do you feel with our classes? How have you felt during this week, right, that um, we have taken English classes with the dynamic of the class, with your classmates, right? How do you feel with classes in general, with this team? How do you feel? So uh, in this team, uh, basically uh, the only one person who is different is a teacher because uh, I know it's the same group uh, that I can learn before. So I think uh, it's difficult for me sometimes because uh, I am tired, but I am trying to stay in, at class. Mm -hmm. And I know that this class and the teacher, as you, uh, try to tell us uh, with practice and that it's okay for me because uh, it, sometimes uh, we need that to improve our English. Yes. Okay, perfect. All right, so Edwin, yes, and, and I know that sometimes you all feel tired, right? And that is understandable because you work during the day, right? So first of all, um, I would like to say thank you again, right? Because you are responsible and you connect to classes. So once uh, probably there will be a time where you cannot connect or if maybe you are going to be busy or something, you can let me know. You can still join in the class and be just as a listener, right? The most important part is that you don't uh, miss any, um, any day because that is going to affect your attendance. And that's what we don't want you to uh, get affected, right? So then um, the classes are designed for you to practice speaking, right? Most of the time it's going to be a speaking because that's what you need to improve right now and also vocabulary. So we are like trying to, to include listening, grammar, speaking time and all of that, right? So um, I feel good that you um, see the program and the classes are good right now. So I don't know if you would like me to include something else, something that you would like me to do, right? With the classes or in the classes, something that, um, I don't know, any type of observation that you have? Mm -hmm. uh, I don't have observation for this class because you include everything that we need for, a for English class because you include grammar, uh, listening, and speech and all that. And I think it's good. Very good. Thank you, Dan. 
Okay, Edwin, now let me ask you, um, do you have any issues with the platform? Something that you have encountered that is not clear for you with the platform or, or is everything okay? So in this case, uh, I have experience with the platform because I have some months learning English with uh, English, English Corporativo and I know that it's okay for me. Excellent, very good. So now, um, is there a topic that you haven't understood so far? Something that you would like me to explain to you right now? So in this moment, I, I try to learn every topic and I know you are doing very well because I understand each topic. So Edwin, let me ask you then a couple of questions just for you to practice English, right? So Edwin, what type of hobbies do you have? What do you do in your free time? So on my free time, I try to work out and dancing because I like dancing. Okay, perfect. And do you work from Monday to Saturday or just from Monday to Friday? Yes, from, from Monday to Friday. Oh, that is perfect. <laughs> okay, but that is perfect because you have the whole weekend Yes. Okay, that's very good. And tell me, how long have you been studying English? So I started the last year um, in Jan. I remember Jan, yes. Okay. okay, so that means around six months, right? Yes, but with English Cooperativo, uh, we have uh period with without class okay so you stop learning yes. okay got it and what is the main purpose why are you studying english so uh, i need to uh, learn english and i need to know because um, I I have to work with people with American people and I am China people because the client are American people and uh, I don't know provider the suppliers suppliers yes are China people and I have to speak with that in English or write email in English. Okay. All right. So in this case, yes, you, you need to uh, learn English for work purposes, right? Yes. Okay. Excellent. Okay. Very good. Okay. So then, uh, Edwin, well, in this case, my feedback for you is uh, the following. Um, I really like that you participate, all right? Because I mean, um, you are always always participating, right? But I would like you to participate even more, right? So whenever I ask for volunteers, um, you you can go ahead and do it. I know that sometimes we feel afraid or we feel ashamed, right? And that is something that is normal, okay? But we can master that you need to master it and you need to control it, right? And you can control it only facing it. If you face that and, you, and if you say, this day I'm going to participate most of the time, I'm going to say me teacher, okay? So you are going to face that fear. And if you face that fear, you are going to learn faster because you will see that at the end, if you practice, you will learn in a faster way, all right? So I want you to try to participate even more because you do it, all right? You participate, but I want you to do it even more because I know that you have the potential, right? Because I know that you can learn more. I want to hear Edwin saying, me teacher. I want to hear Edwin reading, right? Participating, speaking, giving his opinion, all right? 
Yes? I will try. All right. Yes, of course. All right, Edwin. So in this case, thank you very much, okay, for being responsible and thank you very much for being always on time, okay? Um, then uh, if you have any question, any doubt, something that is not clear, please do not hesitate and tell me, okay? You can contact me on WhatsApp if you want or here. You can tell me, teacher, I have a doubt, okay? I need to please... Uh, take 10 minutes with me today because I have this doubt, all right? But please let me know if you have any question and just because of the time, okay? And if you don't have anything else to add, do you have something else that you would like me to, to know about? No. Not right now? Okay, Not perfect. Right now. So then uh, if you don't have anything else to, uh, to let me know, we are going to sit right here the feedback and I'll see you back tomorrow. Okay. Thank you, teacher. All right. Have a good night. Take care. Thank you. Okay.